Hello, everyone. Welcome to PHTV Channel 4 in Palis Heights. I'm Sue Jankowski, and we are at the library. We have our good friends Janine and Tina here. We're going to tell us all about what's going on. There's always a lot going on. This month will be no different than any other month with the list of great things you can be doing at the library. And uh, so Janine, who is our head of public services, is going to start with telling you what's going on in for, May. For May, yeah, yeah lots yeah. of good stuff. Well, you know, May, we all, like, and like you said, we've are, we have not slowed down yet this year. Um, starting off with, um, right down May 2nd, right off the bat, a walk down memory lane. Um, this is a great program. We have author uh, Rochelle Pennington, she's back. She's uh, written a book about the good old days. Um, she will transport us back to the to 1930s, 40s, and 50s in the lighthearted presentation uh, detailing everyday life featuring um, her own antiques that she's going to be bringing. She's a wonderful presenter. We've had her a couple of times. Um, she did the um, uh, Evan Fitzgerald program and a Christmas program just recently, and it's just wonderful. And it's just gonna, it's just a great nostalgia type of thing. Kind of goes with, along with our seventh, the library celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. And that is so wonderful to like look back at some of that stuff and think, oh yeah, I do remember that. I mean, even if you weren't alive in the 30s or 40s or 50s, you know about that stuff because your grandparents had it or right. so, something. So it's yeah. it's a nice thing. To it's think. funny to see, or or you'll see products that are like, oh, I didn't know Cracker Jacks came out then or whatever, or right. it's been around that long. Right. And so you'll, you'll learn th a couple of things. And um, it's kind of funny because, you know, like we, the, the library is celebrating their 75th anniversary. So we have a, a display case at the front of the, mm -hmm. uh, in the lobby. And, you know, each month you'll, you're going to see different items around the house or how people you know, the games we play, the, like the little cootie game that they played or how oh, yeah. they played, mm -hmm. just what was the big thing back in the day. And, yeah, it's fun um, to remember. So yeah, so mm -hmm. if you, were not, you weren't alive then, you can see how people, you know, lived and experienced different things. So she's great though. That's, so okay. that's Thursday, May 2nd okay. at 6.30. <clears throat> and then, we're, um, yes, because we want spring to be here, we are declaring sure a simple <laughs> spring cuisine coming up on Sunday, May 5th at two o'clock and we have chef Susan Maddox and she's going to show us a couple of recipes with only using a fresh a uh, few fresh spring ingredients and uh, to create incredible meals with incredible flavor and so there will be tastings um, and, and recipes so you do need to register for that one. And you know we have love the comfort food when it's time for comfort oh, absolutely. food. Absolutely. But then it comes spring, you're like, I'm, I'm kind of done with that. You want the lighter, fresher yep. kind of product, so it's a good right. opportunity to get yeah. to so know some stuff. So this will be fun. She's, yeah. she's great, and she's always got some good food to okay, talk about. Okay, it looks right. like it. Uh, computer classes, we're always uh, running those throughout the, um, each month. Mm -hmm. uh, they are held in our, our lab, so you do need to register for those. Mm -hmm. uh, LinkedIn Basics, for those of you curious about learning more about LinkedIn, how to create and promote your work, workplace skills, that's Monday, May 6th at 6.30. Okay? Okay. And then we have, on Tuesday, May 7th, we have um, the Utility Bill Clinic, and this is put on by the C Citizens Utility Board, or CUB. And they come out to the different areas and um, communities, and they will help you look at your different uh, utility bills for free, and see how you can cut your costs, and oh, your that's expenses. Really marvelous. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, so it is a great way to to cut, save some pennies here and there, or maybe some dollars and bigger dollars. In it. Oh yeah, that's really great. So bring your um, utility bills in on Tuesday, May seventh. The uh, folks from Citizens Utility Board will help you go over that to save okay. some money. And then we have Trivia Night back this month at Giuliani's. That's coming up Wednesday, May 7th at 6.30. Um, it's a two hours of trivia and prizes. Uh, you can come up into groups of five or come on your own. We have people who come on their own and they win the grand prize, so it's just it's really fun. Just look at the number on this, the, the slide that you're looking at and call Giuliani's to make your reservations. You do need to reserve your spot because oh, you it does okay. really fill up. Oh, it does. That's great. Yeah, and we have so much fun. It yeah. is so much fun. So that, that's, look, we're looking forward to that. And then we have on Thursday, May 9th, uh, Gardening with Trees and sh Shrubs, and we have Gareth Blakesley, for, you know, the director at Lake mm -hmm. Catherine. He's gonna be uh, talking about a program on the different types of trees and shrubs that you can use to enhance your garden and your, your yard, um, and which are beneficial to wildlife and some of that are native pollinators themselves. So you'll have some good tips coming up from that. This is a good, oh, good, good time of year to plant things. Oh, it is, yeah. Right. And you, you're looking for what would 
what would thrive in our community well. Exactly, something that's native. Mm -hmm. um, there was a tr quite a trend uh, when we planted Colorado spruce, which aren't native, so many of those are dying oh. over, yeah, um, they don't, they're just, I mean, they live for a while, but uh -huh. then they, they die out. Oh. So planting native shrubs, you know, really helps, you know, the, uh, they're more sturdy, they, they, right? they can take the, the they weather. Stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're having another uh, program, Tips for Lazy Gardener. Um, not that you, any of you are lazy out there, <laughs> but uh, that's coming up Tuesday, <coughs> May 14th at 6.30. And you can discover useful ways to save time and energy and money mm -hmm. while gardening well, from uh, gardening enthusiast Cindy Tyler, Tiley. And um, she'll show some demonstrations for uh, both indoors and outdoor gardening tips. So That's great because, at, and like you said, it's not sometimes that you're lazy, but you think you want plants that work and stay and don't require tons of work and effort unless you're somebody who like likes to oh you have all the time to do you, that. you know do orchids and dahlias and all that yeah. that takes a little bit more time this is that's going right. to be really so useful. maybe learn some tips to get something growing and having it look you know semi-festive all, all, <laughs> all year long, yeah <laughs> and of course our book and film is back on tuesday may 16th at two o'clock again this is when we show a film based on a book and the the film is the children act by ian McEwen. Um, this is about a boy, a 16, 17-year-old boy who is in the hospital, needs um, medical treatment, but he refuses it based on his own religious beliefs. And um, Emma Thompson plays the judge where she has to, um, she's the one who has to oversee this, um, this case, and she's the one who must decide. So, so a lot of issues going on in there, and it's quite a good film with uh, Emma Thompson. That's a, tough, that's a tough one. That would be really uh, yeah. suspenseful. Yeah. And we have on Thursday, May 16th, in the evening at 6.30, we have Manet, Painter of Modern Life. And we have a historian, Jeff Mischer, is back. He's going to be presenting the highlights of the artist Manet. Uh, this lecture will provide great context. There's an exhibit going on at the Art Institute um, at this time. Uh, and if you, come, if you watch this program, you can go to the art ex uh, exhibit at the Art Institute and have, um, be all ready to, to uh, view the the work and the, know about the artist. The, the uh, exhibit runs through September, so you can come see it now and you'll have through September to see it at the Art Institute. And so it's really great to start with some kind of knowledge when you go and, and visit that. That way you know more and it can be Absolutely. more appreciated. Yeah, you get a lot of context mm -hmm. to what, mm -hmm. um, what, the, what the artist is. When we, we, we might have heard of Monet or, you know, if you're not familiar with art, but then you see the significance of, well, what is this, why is this painting mm -hmm. hanging here and why, what is the significance of the lighting or whatever. Right. Uh, or even just of his work at that time in mm -hmm. history. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's great to go in with a little bit of knowledge. It is. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. And we do have our painting parties each month. I want to just, they fill up super fast. So, um, you uh, do need to register for this. At, um, the May 18th um, painting party will registration will open at May 1st. Um, so we get a lot of pe uh, people waiting in line. So maybe for those people who've gone over and over, maybe might give a chance for someone else yeah, to get in line. That would, that be, would nice. be nice. Yeah. But those are always fun as yes. well. Mm -hmm. Sunday at the cinema is back. Um, this will be the last one until uh, because we are closed on Sundays oh, after right. Memorial okay. Day. Okay, good um, to know. Yeah. So uh, Sunday, May 19th at 2 o'clock, we'll be showing the film A Star is Born. Now, do you care to guess how many versions of this film were made? I happen to know. Do you? I believe there are four. You are. She wins. Bing, bing. The gold star. <laughs> yes, four of them. 1937 with Janet Gaynor and Frederick March. 1954 with Judy Garland and James Mason. 1976 with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. And of course, this one that we'll be showing is with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Both were nominated for Best Actor and Actress. Mm -hmm. This was nominated as the Best Film. It won the Best Song. So um, obviously, there's something in this film that is kind of a timeless theme that people like to to see and watch and right no i've never seen the other three yeah uh but i think they change a little from singing to acting and uh, -huh. uh you know there's some uh, differences from what i've heard uh but i can i can attest to this one is really good really yeah. really good yeah so yeah. you would enjoy seeing this one right yeah so that's coming up sunday may 19th and um, May, Monday, May 20th, we have lynda.com basics. lynda.com is a, an online resource that we have that's available for free for um, all Palos Heights Library card holders. It's an incredible resource that you can go online from home or you can go online at, at, at the library 
and learn all sorts of classes. Um, you can take tons of computer classes, a Photoshop, or biz for those of you um, operating your own businesses, website design, um, on and on. I, I, I don't know how many classes we have uh, on this course, but you can use your library card, get on home on your computer and home, access this resource, and learn all sorts of incredible things. Wow! So okay. it's a great. So we're going to show you how to learn how yeah, more about good. it. Yeah. I've also spoken to a few teachers, and some of them have been able to get some of their teaching credits on Lynda.com. Right. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So I mean, if you need to fulfill some of those teachings, yeah, you keep your you need certificate to get. going yeah. or whatever it is. Oh, right. Cool. And then people also have <coughs> who may need their um, you know Excel certificate or whatever, mm -hmm. you can get those from there as well, computer uh, skills. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's amazing. Yeah. It's nice you can do it at home, too. You Absolutely. You don't have to go into the library and do it. Mm -hmm. You can just... Yeah. Super. All right. And then on um, baseball season is in full bloom. So we have on Tuesday, May 21st, American Diamond, baseball, pop culture, and our national myths. And we have author James Finn Garner. He's going to explore the historical and technological and cultural forces that shape, the base, shape baseball into the national pastime that it is. So are you baseball? And I said, are you going to be pro Sox or pro Cubs? And he says, I'm pro baseball. Uh, so okay. he's going to be neutral. Very good. So, wise. So we won't wise have any. Man. Yeah, very wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Sounds like it's going to be uh, full of humor, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun, hum humorous as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. Um, and also um, another thing going on this year is it's the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Bulge and D-Day and all that. Um, so on Thursday, May 23rd at 6.30 p.m., we're going to have a program, Battle of the Bulge, Forgotten Heroes. And we have author Robert Mueller who will be here to revisit the places and remember the men who um, beat Hitler's last desperate gamble in December of 1944. Okay, very good history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And then we have our um, last introduction to family search. For those of you interested in doing geneal genealogy research, mm -hmm. I always have a hard time saying that word. <laughs> you did it. Um, our our um, genealogy expert, Beth Stevens, will be on hand to um, talk to you about how to get started on your genealogy search with, your, with family search with a, with a certain online resource. And you can search for records, build a family tree, and much more. Yeah, that's great. And sometimes you just need that little bit of knowledge and a little kickoff. Oh, to, absolutely. Because it, it seems overwhelming. It's absolutely. I was going to say yeah. it can be very overwhelming. Yeah. What do you start with? What is actually significant? What should you be looking for? What do dates mean? You know, all this kind of thing. Right. So she'll go over all of that stuff. Yeah. And there's a lot of false paths too. Uh, mm -hmm. I've heard where, you know, you think you're on the right track and that's your relative, but it's not. <laughs> some some small guy. Or maybe you just picked that it. it's not. You, that couldn't be my relative. <laughs> right, right, right. Me? No. Yeah. And then, so just uh, FYI, um, we will be closed on Mother's Day on um, May 12th. Good. And we also will be closed on Memorial Day, Sunday before Memorial Day, which is May 26th and May 27th. And then, like I mentioned before, so after that, we will be closed Sundays through till September 8th. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Good to know. All right. Thank you. Jeanine. You're welcome. And now we're on to, <clears throat> excuse me, Tina. And uh, there's always something coming up for the kids and teens. <clears throat> excuse me. So what's happening? Yeah, there's mm. lots of stuff going on upstairs. But I also wanted to mention that a lot of our youth and teen librarians will be also be visiting the schools to talk about summer reading. Oh, good. And that is a big thing that we do. It, it is. takes up a lot of... When is summer reading? Yeah. Summer reading is going to start June 3rd, and it runs all the way until July 27. Good, June 3. So for kids and adults. Yes. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. And um, is there, are you going to talk about that next time? Am I going to spoil the surprise if you talk about the theme? What is, what well, is the I'll theme give you show? a hint of the okay. theme right now. <coughs> it is, it's showtime at your library. So mm. that is going to be our theme this year. Cool, mm -hmm. that'll be fun. Yes. All right, what else is happening? So <coughs> jumping right into the programs, on Wednesday, May 1st, we have the Idea Jar Drawing Challenge. Now what this is, is we're going to have a bunch of different jars, and different prompts are going to be on pieces of paper in the jars. And we're going to challenge the kids to go ahead and take a prompt, and they need to draw whatever the prompt tells them to. Oh. So it could be anything from a pirate riding a rooster. To oh my like gosh. a cow in outer space. Oh, that is fun. Yeah. It's kind of like a twist on Pictionary, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah, and I like that. And that's going to be on Wednesday, May 1st at 4 o'clock for children grades kindergarten through third grade. 
uh, not quite Cinco de Mayo, but on Thursday, May 2nd, we will have Cinco de Mayo Fiesta. And children in grades third through fifth grade are welcome to come to the library, learn about the holiday, make a craft, eat Mexican candy, and play Loteria, which is a Mexican bingo game. And you don't need to know Spanish in order to play this game. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going to have pictures. Mm. So el pájaro is a parrot, and there's going to be a picture of a parrot. Oh, so good. Okay, so when well, you match. hear the word, you'll yes. know the picture. Yes. Okay, good. And you might learn some Spanish along the way. Oh, that would yeah. be fun, too. Yeah. Be neat. So they are always coming out with a new Star Wars movie. So we figured, why not do a Star Wars story time? And this one <laughs> is not? Revenge of the Sixth, and it's going to be on Monday, <laughs> May 6th at 10 a.m. for children ages 2 to 5. So definitely. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> we're going to read stories, sing songs, make crafts based on these movies. Excellent. <laughs> so if parents enjoy it, I'm sure they will. They'll probably want to drag their kids <laughs> to the story time, oh, too. That sounds cute. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, May 9th, uh, we have our first new regular program. This is called Steam Squad, and it's for children in grades third through fifth grade. And they're going to be doing, just like the, with the early Einsteins, they're going to be doing different science-based activities each month. And in May, they're going to focus on the science of colors. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, that sounds really neat. So the steam is different than the STEM. In that it has an art element. It has the art. Oh. OK, good. On Friday, May 10th, uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., this is a drop-in program. It is sensory playtime for children um, from infant to five years old. Just drop in. We're going to be having different activities and stations for parents to intera interact with their children. Um, it's going to stimulate all their senses and it really get them moving in out of the house. That's good. And you're going to have the fun mess at, at, at the library oh, instead yes. of <laughs> at your house. So that is yes. another reason to come. Have fun there. Yeah. Make a mess. Make a mess somewhere else. Exactly. And the kids will be able to interact with things mm -hmm. that they normally wouldn't. Like who, what parent is going to let their kid play with goop at home? Yeah. You can just come to the library. Yeah, and play, we'll with play with there. goop there. <laughs> good plan. On Saturday, May 11th, we have Lego Builders. Uh, this program is still continuing to be very popular. The kids can create whatever they like, and then we display it in the library for a month. And you know, um, my granddaughters have just gotten into Legos, and it's mm -hmm. it's like an addiction. Yeah. I mean, they just love it so much. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to get some other Legos and get building things with people around you. That's yeah, fun, too. and their creativity, yeah. and we have tons of Legos. When I say we have bins and bins of Legos, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lot. Yeah, of that makes it, because mm -hmm. you have limitations at home. This is um, right. limitless, almost. Mm -hmm. Cool. On Monday, May 13th, <coughs> we have toddler art uh, two times at 10 a.m. and at 1 p.m. for children ages 2 to 5. This is also another program that fills up right away. Um, oh. So definitely make sure that you register for okay. that. Okay. On Tuesday, May 14th at 4 o'clock, we have From Showers to Flowers for children in grades kindergarten through third grade. Uh, did you know that April showers bring May flowers? We're going to play games, decorate pots, and even plant our own flowers. Oh, yeah. that is going to be fun. Take it home and grow it all summer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Uh, so finals are also going to be coming up at the end of May. I know that our older teens are not too thrilled about it, but at the library we're going to do our best to try and make it a little more stress-free. Um, from May 15th through May 22nd, for children grades 6th through 12th grade, we have stress busters. So for those kids that are studying for finals, we'll give them space to just relax, chill. We'll also have movies playing in the young adult room. Uh, we're going to have snacks and also um, different uh, school supplies that they might need. So we always get kids asking for index cards or more erasers, so we're definitely going to have those available. Oh, too. that's nice. And that is a stressful time with um, trying to get it all together and do well on your testing. So yeah. that's a nice outlet for them. Yeah. Always around the end of May, we can sense like the things are that good. are there. They're yeah. there to study. Yeah. They, wanna they really, down, so, yeah, yeah, they do. They need some quiet time. But then they need some time to have a little fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get a little break. On Thursday, May 16th, we have our Anime Manga Club at 4 o'clock for children's grades 6th through 12th grade. So join us. Uh, we're going to watch different levels of fantasy for anime and manga, and they're also going to be painting their own succulent pots. 
Oh, okay. Do we get a succulent to go in the pot? I, you know, I want to say you do. <laughs> okay. This is, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that there is going to be. Okay, that would be good. Otherwise, go. You have to find your own succulent <laughs> somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> On Wednesday, May 22nd at 10 a.m. for uh, children's from birth to 23 months. So our little ones, we're going to have bl baby bluebirds story time. Uh, this story time is for our littlest friends. They're going to read and sing stories and share rhymes all about birds, flowers, and other things that come around in May. Oh, that's sweet. On Wednesday, May 22nd, we have our Furry Readers program at 4 o'clock. It is for all ages, and we have five furry friends that do come to the library. Uh, so if you want to practice some of your reading skills, you can bring a book that you've been reading at home. Or we have plenty of books at the library, and you can just pick one out and read to one of our fun furry friends. And you should register for this, right? Because there's only so many furry friends and so much time to do it in. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, I would say register for it. And even if you're on the wait list, come anyway, because there are so many dogs and they have so much love to go around. Oh. So we usually try and fit everyone. Oh, yeah. that's good. And these look like um, familiar, like they're the same little doggies that come every yes. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. You can, you, you know, you can either try somebody else, see if they like your book better, mm -hmm. or get to with your same little Hildy or Tula. And Django. I met Django. Django what yeah. a sweetheart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so and they cute. just lay there and they listen to yeah. them. Is that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So cute. Yeah, this Beautiful. program is definitely very popular, so yeah, please register so that be. we know to expect you. Uh, Thursday, May 23rd at 4 o'clock, we have Early Einsteins. I mentioned this earlier. It's another one of the STEM-based programs uh, for children ages 3 to 6 years old. And please register online. They're going to be doing experiments all about springtime for this session. Very good. Ages 3, too. That's yeah. a good one. Mm -hmm. Really starting young. Uh, so I mentioned earlier that summer's right around the corner. With summer, we also have more volunteer opportunities for those kids that want to get a head start on the volunteer service hours that they're going to be needing in school. So we have a volunteer orientation. We have a couple of different dates there for them to choose from. And if none of these dates work for you, then please contact the library and ask to speak to Miss Lauren. She's our volunteer coordinator. And we can definitely work something out to get you set for orientation so that you can be ready to volunteer for the summer. And you know, and not only do you have volunteer hours probably as a requirement for graduation or whatever, but and this is a great time to learn something new, volunteer for the joy of volunteering, and you know, kind of fill your day with something meaningful. That summer gets kind of long sometimes when you're 11, 12, 13, 14 because you're, you're not getting a paying job. And this gives you a chance to get some work, work experience at, mm -hmm. at a volunteer uh, level. So it's just a great all around thing for your young ones to do, even if they're not required to do it. It's really a right. nice opportunity for them, really. Yeah, it looks great on college applications and it also looks great for applying for jobs being that you have worked with the public and you mm -hmm. are able to do certain things. Yeah. And it's also a good time to see some of your friends. So for some of the bigger programs that we do have planned in the summer, we are going to have more than one volunteer. Yeah. So you and your buddy can pal up and, you know, do something special and have a nice uh, experience at the library. It's the best place to be, you know, in town. So you might as well just go volunteer and spend a couple hours doing some nice fun things. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, I think that's it for At the Library this time. I hope that we see you there, and we'll be back to tell you about summer reading program yes. next month. That's right. Okay. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.